Biomagnification in food webs math problem. Number one, a salmon eats 300 grams of sardines per day. The sardines consumed by the salmon have an average POP concentration of 0.1 unit per gram. So a POP is a persistent organic pollutant. So this could be a PCB or a DDT or some other mm. persistent organic pollutant. A, calculate the total units of POPs the salmon consumes in one day. So first we're going to take 300 grams. So 300 grams times 0.1 unit of POPs per gram. And so uh, our grams now cancel out. And our answer is 300 times 0.1. And so that ends up being 30 units of POP for letter A. For letter B, calculate the total units of POPs the salmon consumes in a year. So you're just going to take this number and multiply it by days per year. And so 365 days per year times 30 units per day, because the first problem was in one day. And so now our days cancel. And off to the side, we can just do our math. We can do it vertically like that. And so our answer is 10,950 units of POP. Now the best thing to do for math is to pause the video and try and solve yourself and then turn on the video again to see if you got the right answer. If you're completely stuck, then go ahead and watch me solve the whole problem. But really for getting better, and you want to get better at this math, this is dimensional analysis math, and it will be on the AP test, and you do need to get better at it. Number two, about 80% of the POPs consumed by the salmon accumulate in the salmon's tissues. A calculate the amount of units of POP the salmon has accumulated at the end of one day. So we're going to take our uh, answer from 1A, which was 30 units, at the end of a day. And it says that it accumulates about 0.8, so 80%. And that's a real simple problem. So 30 times 0 0.8 is 24. POPs. After one, uh, one week, so we're just going to take this number and we're going to multiply it. So this is A. For B, we're going to multiply it by 7 for 7 days in a week. And we're going to end up with 24. So we're going to end up here. Nope, that is wrong. It's actually 168. So 168 units for a week. And now after a month of 30 days, so I can't take 168 and multiply by four weeks because it's actually 38, 30 days, not 28 days. So I'm going to take my 24 for C and I'm going to multiply that by 30. And I'm going to get for C 720 units. So that's C. And then after a year, so we're going to take our um, 365 days in a year, and we're going to multiply that by 24. Pause the video, practice multiplying out by hand, 
And when you multiply out by hand, your answer will be 4D, 8,760 units of POP. Now this math is easy enough to do without a calculator, so do make sure that you practice without a calculator. All of these problems are made to give you practice and to come out neatly and not be hard to do without a calculator. Let's go on to number three. Number three, many people enjoy eating salmon. The king salmon, Alaska state fish, can often weigh 14 grams, kilograms. A salmon steak can weigh 140 grams and is one serving for a human. Let's assume the salmon is a year old. Number three, how many steaks can be made out of one king salmon? So we have the weight of the salmon and the weight is 14 kilograms. And let's convert that to grams. And so we know that there's a thousand grams in one kilogram, or we can just move the decimal place over three spots to the right. Our kilograms cancel and we have 14,000 grams. <clears throat> now we're gonna take that 14,000 and uh, we grams and it said that one steak is about equal to a hundred and forty grams so our grams cancel and now we have fourteen thousand divided by a hundred and forty and that will go in evenly at one hundred steaks so if you don't notice that that's 100, again, you can just set up the problem. And it's probably best when you're on an AP test to um, just set up the problem and make sure that you have the right answer. Um, and you don't mess up with a zero and you, ha you have one too many zeros or one too less zeros. So um, do double check your work and be careful. Let's go on to B. B says calculate the amount of POPs a human consumes from a salmon steak. So we know from the uh, previous problem to see that um, a salmon that is about a year old has consumed 8,760 units of POPs um, per fish. And how do we know this? Well, up here, we're going to assume the salmon is a year old. And so a year old salmon, if you look at 2D, will have accumulated um, 8,760 units. Now, we found out just the previous problem that there's a hundred steaks per salmon. So we're going to um, take one fish is equal to a hundred steaks. Or has a hundred steaks in it. So now our fish cancel out and we're just going to take 8760 divided by 100. Some of you can do that in your head. Some of you need to work it out. Um, but if you work it out, you come up with the answer of 87.6 units of POP. That's in a salmon steak that you eat. All right, let's go on to number four. Number four, brown bears in Alaska eat up to 40 salmon in a day. In a typical day, half the salmon eaten are very young and have only been eat feeding for one day. A quarter of the salmon are a little older and have been feeding for a week. The final quarter are even older and have been feeding for a month. Calculate the amount of units of POP the bear will consume in a day. 
Okay, so they, we have 40 salmon total, and half of it are young and have been feeding for a day. Okay, so let's kind of sketch this out. So half of 40 is 20, and so these are 20 young salmon. And we found out after a day from number 2A that they've accumulated 24 units of POPs per salmon. All right, and then a quarter of the salmon that the bear eats have been feeding for a week. So a quarter of 40 is 10. So 10 salmon have been feeding for a week. Go back up and look at number 2C, I'm sorry, um, 2B. And after one week, they've accumulated 168 units of POPs per salmon. <clears throat> And then we have another quarter that they eat in a day that have been feeding for a month. So that's the final 10 salmon. And let's look back up at number two. And after a month of 30 days, they've accumulated 720 units of POPs per salmon. So this problem seems hard initially. There's a lot of words and you have to try and figure out what they want. Sometimes it's just nice to sketch it out. Um, to, and as you sketch it out, you might realize, it might pop into your brain how to solve a problem like this. Once you set it up, the um, math is not that difficult once you set it up. So now all of our salmons cancel. So now we have 20 times 24. So 24 times 20, I can do again the scratch math up to the side. So this is a 480 units. And the next one is 10 times 168. And that one I can do in my brain, I can just add a zero here. And then I can also do 10 times 720 in my head. Now I'm just going to add them together. So 480 plus 1680 plus 7200. Go ahead and pause the video and just do that out by hand. It's always good practice to do it by hand. Okay, so once you have uh, done the math, you should have a total of 9,360 units of POP a bear consumes in one day. And that's not very good for the bear.